Hello subscribers, welcome to a new series, a new stream, Serpent in the Staglands. So I bought this game probably two years ago, maybe even longer than that, and I've been waiting to play it, mix it in, in. and this is an RPG that was made by an independent game company. I believe there were just two developers, or one developer and, and his wife, I'm not really sure, but I think it was released around 2015. And it is a retro-ish type game. I remember seeing an interview with the developer on Matt Chat's channel on YouTube. And it looked interesting to me. It kind of looked like Darklands, which I'm a big fan of. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how it is. I'm doing a blind play. I have not read the manual. I opened the manual, looked at about three pages, and then I stopped. Because <laughs> I don't want to get too much information from it, so... We are going to do a blind play. And I generally I'll start out with a blind play just so that in the future when I review a game, I kind of feel how intuitive it was and those types of things. But at some point, I probably will read the manual. Uh, let's see. Check for updates. Skip. I have the latest version. My Lord Erlein. Oh, it's a story. I pray that a strong wind might hasten the ship bedding this letter. For it carries dire news. Well, not studio. Curse that will befall our Moon Lord on the longest night. Be on your guard for spies and false friends. Distrust the servants of lesser gods. Cloak the Moon Lord as you can. But I fear he will find no sanctuary in the Staglands. I will follow this letter west when I am released. I hesitate to reveal more until I arrive in Korn, but take heed. The Carrion God welcomes mortals and gods alike. Okay, the Carrion God. Interesting. Hey, Sastam, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Okay, uh, online manual. Yep, that's where I found it and downloaded it. Uh... I guess we'll just start, just jump right into it. Looks like we're running version 18. When the gods were formed and you claimed the moon as your dominion, which god did you help? Let me check the audio volume. You'll have to let me know. Does the audio sound good? Ah, so this is maybe kind of like how Ultima 6 works. Where it'll influence maybe when your character is created. In flames, shapeshifter, nurtures and heals, hungers for flesh. This seems like maybe a fighterish type healer. Maybe like a stealthy one. Wrapped in flames. Maybe this is more of a caster. Forging. Got a forging. Hmm. Let's do that one. Yeah, this definitely feels like Ultima 6 when you create a character and they mix potions. When you peered through the clouds one night and saw a small fleet of boats tossing in the rocky waters near the coast of the Staglands, last in the Sparen, why did you reach down and part the clouds so your moonlight could guide their way to safety? Why their ambition and hunger for knowledge of new lands, I did not wish to see such spirit quenched. I would not have wished for so many to die if I had the power to change their fate. I knew such an act would inflame gratitude and love in the hearts of several genera generations of the adventures. 
sheer coincidence, I'm afraid. The mortals of the Staglands wish to thank me their savior, so be it. Okay, be number two. Hey, Jimmy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How <laughs> soon until we're blasting this one Iron Man style? Oh gosh, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, when you first set foot in the Staglands and showed yourself to the new settlers, what animal shape did you take on? Black furred wolf, followed by my pack. A slinking red eyed lynx. A great white-tailed fox, a magical four-horned antelope. Hmm. I'm gonna say four. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> And the Zena that seduced, that you seduced after a winter solstice festival, what gift did you leave behind as you slipped away from her as the moon disappeared to the dawn? <laughs> Good memories. Sparkling citrine, singing wisp of white rose. Hmm. This seems the most interesting. Seeing this. That was pretty cool. Lord Nikolai, what's happening? Why are you still here? Have you laid here all night in such a state? Erlen, finally. I'm glad to see you can stand. Are you continuing your celebrations? I'd invite you to assume a mortal form and share a cup of Kefra, but I believe you drank all of mine last night as you masqueraded amongst my villagers. Were you turned down by all the petty maidens? Have done, Erlaine. My visit is of a most serious nature. Something has happened. Oh, I see it scrolls, okay. Forgive me, my lord. Pray tell me your tale. As I was casting spells open my portal to return to the moon, I found myself blocked as if my portal was unlinked. I laid here most of the night, ethereal, trying every spell I knew. That is grave indeed. Do you have any suspicious suspicions regarding who might have closed your portal? In my stupor, I dreamt of a dame in a cloak with green eyes. She was reading my past from a tome, as if she was reading an eulogy. Could this be a prank in bad taste? Yes. But mayhap done at the hands of another god? This cannot be the work of a mortal. Possible, but I know of no one who would do such a thing. A portal was an ancient gift and not easily tampered with. Even more serious, then. My brother is a scribe to the counselors, you know, being skilled with letters and has told me some things, small things, that seem odd. A missing counselor, spirits pouring from their chasms, insults traded between races and places of power. Hey there, Bo and Rushfell. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Merry one day after Christmas. Same to you, Bo. Uh, Rushfell, this is a retroish 
independent game created around 2015. Uh, it's called Serpent in the Staglands, and I'm playing it blind. And when is the mortal power struggle not filled with bad tidings? Nay, you are right, this must be a matter of gods. I, and mayhap, I am jumping at my own shadow. But how can I aid you, my lord? I cannot open your portal to get home. And without a better guard than my scroll-bound acolytes, I cannot create any real sanctuary here. As dangerous as it may be for you to travel in mortal form, for you know you can be slain as such, I fear it is your only way of finding answers. Now we get an option. You know more of this land than I, as my visits have been more pleasure-bent than observant. I trust your wisdom. That's the best you can do. I'll take it. <laughs> what form would my lord take while traveling in Staglands? Let me consider the choices. Hmm. Race. Varuchov. See, I wonder if all those choices I made determines my possible options here. Glad you're doing good, Bo. Type name. Weepers. Available stat points remain after character creation. You may distribute after any time. Oh, here we go. The mark of a Viking. The shields of Varuchov fighters do not just showcase the heraldry of their noble lineage, but are often used as a second weapon in battle. Bashing and piercing an enemy to gain an advantage. When you equip a shield, your physical damage roll is increased by 2d1. Huh. Foreign ladies. For many years, the Varchovs existed solely under the Emerald Metallus, driven there by forces unknown outside the records. Over time, the fighters of one scouting battalion, the Horned Ladies, became extremely adept at fighting in the dark, rocky grounds of their cavernous retreat. Gain a hit chance buff when you're underground, 5d1. Frost Jackal, society with a rigid aesthetic and an obsession with courtly graces, Rokovs never fail to use their heraldry to open doors. Start your journey with a house crest in your inventory to smooth your passage through the staglands. That's probably one I should go with since I'm playing this blind. Male, female. Huh. Head. Oh, I see. Uh, race. Oh, you can change your race. Ah. Five races, okay. Hmm, some of the greatest hunters on the mainland can be found in their ranks. Organization, matriarchal law. Sacks dual justice, intention and crime. Find with clerical spells. Wow. Well, this will take ages to try to figure out. So I'm probably just going to have to pick something. Adds five... B1 to spell a physical dodge chance. So this sounds kind of more like a caster. Start your journey with one point and a bolt. <clears throat> Bow rides chemists and engineers.
Huh. Okay. Fire weavers. Tinkered with small and portable explosive liquids. Start your journey with a point two permanent increase in attack speed when attacking with an elixir. Ah, so I wonder if that's like uh, Darklands where you can throw potions and stuff. Bo says, I haven't played this before. It looks kind of like Darklands. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I There was an interview with Matt Chat, Matt Barton on YouTube with the developers. And I thought they had mentioned that, that Darklands was an inspiration for them. So, yeah, that's why I got it, because it seemed super cool. And lawless people. Okay, let's just go with the first race here. Let's do Frost Jackal. Now, the stat point thing, stat reset. Oh, these are portraits I could pick. I see. Yeah, we'll go with the default. So, does that mean we have two points here? I have no idea what a cult is. Let's do intelligence and dexterity. Frost Jackal. Available stat points remain after character creation. Saving. After character creation, use your character sheet to allocate your skill points. Okay. You'll want companions to protect you and give you consequence. You can certainly hire mercenaries to join you once you depart the temple, but you can also create some additional avatars now to accompany you for the time being. Seek out companions. Yeah, let's create some. Okay, cool. Let's pick a different race this time. Uh, let's do one of these fire weavers. Enter a name. Well, says Tim was the first on here. You want companions to oh okay create another one blood omens faithful disciples reliant on trade for survival Start your journey with one skill point in linguistics. All these conversations, that sounds pretty pretty important, doesn't it? Let's have a female though. We need at least one female. Let's do perception. Let's just do two in perception. Okay, Jimmy, sorry, you're gonna be female. But you were next on the list. Marshall says, I have no idea what's going on, but you can name someone after me if you want. <laughs> okay, I don't know how many characters we get. I'm guessing four. Bo's next. He chatted next. Let's see. We didn't do one of these. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, let's, we haven't done one of these. Faithful. Five D1 physical DC and spell DC skills when fighting humans. No. 
Start with five extra hit points. Okay. That sounds good. This will be our brutish guy. Let's give him strength. Bow. Wow, you can do another one? Okay, let's see. I haven't done this race. Okay. Combat. Focus their combat training to killing blows against monsters. Adds 5d1 to spell and physical dodge chance. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay, Rush. Okay, we can have five. Your party is full, but I can offer the services of my nephew, Wilhelm, and our strongest acolyte, Catalina. If you wish to engage Wilhelm, you'll find him wandering about this floor. Catalina is out in the courtyard working in the gardens. Pray send them back to the temple when you can, as they are both important to the temple. I'm rather fond of Wilhelm, especially. <laughs> okay. Uh, perhaps they will prefer my company. I will do as I will. As you wish, my lord. What's ours is yours, indeed. <laughs> there is a storm master in the western wing. He can sell you some supplies to start your journey. I'll give you some emeralds, but I can't take too many from the temple purse without arousing suspicion. I wish I could vouch for every member of this temple, but I think it's safer to trust no one. Which means I must live with the knowledge that I'm sending you out in the world with little besides your wits and a few gems. Don't berate yourself. Your aid has been in invaluable. That seems just... What I can do for you is gather a disguise. If anyone asks, for now, say you are a merchant. And then when you're ready to leave me, to leave, meet me outdoors in the courtyard. We shouldn't risk being seen together now that you're in mortal form. Anyone with enough knowledge to know of your portal must know that you'd come here first. And spies might be lur lurking in the shape of temple visitors. Okay. So here's our characters. I for inventory. S. Quick spells. C. Here we go. C for character. It said something about you can access the skills. Skills. I have zero points. Okay, and there's a bunch of spells in here. Okay. Tag. Select all. Ah. Yeah, so that, that is like Dark Lands. Okay, you can move them independently. Or you can select like that, that's nice. Stop all. Change order. So that's cool. There's a quick spells menu. There's quick aptitudes. Oh, Woodwise. Yeah, that's definitely like Darklands. Philosophy. Okay, so West. Let's check out this table and make sure. No. Control S to save, maybe? No. Let's 
see. That's how you pause. Options. There we go. Save your progress. Lumen Acolyte, can I assist you? Where do you hail from? What can you tell me of the area? Pray, excuse me. I'm from a small town in Corum. When I was a lad, a traveling scholar roomed at my family's inn and talked of a temple where men and women studied the stars and moon. And I begged my pa and ma to allow me to join the temple. What can you tell me of the area? Master Erling keeps Lumen Fortin safe from raiders and natives and the beasts of the forest. But leave the protection of his temple and you'll find yourself at the mercy of the wilds. There's an outpost known as Lebez where the caravanners gather and a traveler like yourself might find like-minded bodies. And I need to take notes. take this game seriously I need I need to be taking notes here okay so master Erling then we have I guess this place is called Lumen Fortin I don't know that for sure leave the protection of his temple yeah okay outpost called Libes travelers like ourselves okay wise advice farewell I have more questions to ask you Yeah. Oh, shows like an attack on that. Hmm. You really want to attack this thing? Yeah, Pawn Maw. Okay, we got a torch. High for inventory. Is it in there? Can I tell? Ah, here we go. So this is personal maybe, and then maybe this is party. Short wooden stab with a rope firmly bound on one end. The dried rope has been soaked in a flammable oil. Crest, crest of the house cur. Crests are usually made from expensive gems and metals. Crafted to depict the image of the house itself, usually their family creature or initials. House Kerr's crown is embellished upon the surface. Grants its user mind control of a monster in combat, augmenting their movement speed. Ability levels required for use. Right click to activate, left click to target. Huh. Not enough nobility skill to use the Viking shield, okay. My us, we're just breaking everything in the temple. Biscotti? <laughs> Rope, sure that's useful. Bone? Oh, I guess that is a door. I want to go west.
The remains of a large feast, seared oxen meats, vegetables, and fruits you don't quite recognize, along with a multitude of different spiced soups. Surround by, surrounded by a few empty wine glasses, you note that your acolytes do quite well for themselves. Exit. I guess we just do this. Is that a dead end? Cyprian. Greetings, stranger. What are you studying? What do you know of the area? Excuse me. My lord in Tratus Saltus wishes to, sco to discover if the moon's passage would reveal the best times to plant and harvest his bog crops. Has sent me to discuss his theories with Lord Erling. The lord seems rather preoccupied at the moment. However, chance due to much wine at the festi festival recently. It is a relief to, he to leave the heavy marshes of my home. I must admit that I envy the fertile farmlands of the area. The villagers seem a lucky lot to be under the gentle hand of Lord Erling. Such is not always the case in other districts. I see. Farewell. Linguist words of power. Hmm. Incantation book. A leather case tome. Iron clasp to seal it. Bound as a conduit or written incantations to be read aloud. Linguistics can be powerful sorcery, given a delicate hand of spoken word. Enter your incantation. Hmm. How do I get this? Oh. Oh, I see. One of my guys had linguistics. Gotcha, who was that? Skills? No. Cumulative item mod for physical damage. Armor class. Spell resistance. Cumulative item mod for casting speed. Equipped weapon speed. Cumulative item mod for physical da dodge chance. Spell dodge chance, okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like party inventory. It's a way to like... Trying to see if, depending on, yeah, it says bow, whoever has it selected, maybe it impacts your chance to use Jimmy. Jimmy's knowledge is the same. Hmm. Ah, that's the back button, okay. Not seeing any difference based on who I have selected. This really isn't changing. Hmm. 
I guess they all have the same combat skills. Character, okay. Inventory's I. Journals, J. Map. Oh, you can zoom in and zoom out. That's cool. Journal. Oh, you can put notes directly in here. Cool. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Let's see who this guy is. Lumen Cook. Oh, he's cooking stuff there. Showing an X. Oh, I guess that means we can't talk with him. Trying to see if I could pick up any of this stuff. Doesn't look like it. Okay. How do you select the wall? V. Okay. going into a new area. Game tip. Death's Reach can grasp careless gods as easily as mortals. Especially those stuck in a mortal body. Uh, I probably should not have done that. It's like I have to make a choice. I don't have any equipment. I'm supposed to go west. Gotta reload that. Looks like I have to make a choice here first. I cannot shake the feeling that dark times are upon us. It seems unwise to draw attention to yourself. I heard a few items for you. I think it's best to travel as a spicer. They're known to be curious type of merchant. Freely, moves freely, and asks many questions. Perfect for you to search for. Spice merchant visited recently and left behind her documents, granting her rights of trade. Afraid we couldn't locate them. I'll give you them so that you will not be questioned. I cannot fathom who it would mean to harm you, but it would be safest to trust no one, even the Arbiters and Vikings. You cannot know what master pulls their strings. I wish I could be a better guide for you, but you know your enemies, or lack of, as well as I do. Only fear that they will find you before you find them. You might seek out my brother in the Emerald Matalus Console Library. Erlene's brother in Emerald Matalus Console. Doubt you'll find much in the northern districts. The lands are so sparsely settled they barely warrant a local government. Okay, so northern districts sparse. Your attacker might have more brewing than a locked portal. If I find anything, I'll try to get you word. Okay. Can I go back in? Okay, good. Let's see if we can go to that shop he was talking about.
The aqueduct mechanics of this temple is a luxury rarely seen. Anything fall out? Large group of honeyed wine remains here. Likely the last of what wasn't used for the festival. Okay. Bottles of mead. Oh, here's this guy. What? Spicer, good day to you. How fair the roads? Still carrying travelers, I believe. I'll be heading back to them now. Cannot answer truthfully. Golden heart, friend. What brings you to the Temple of the Moon? I seek information on the bloodless race of demigods with immortal life, but no godly powers. They plague humanity and gods alike. They must be stamped out like rats that they are. break into ancient ruins and cover below the earth in catacombs oh cower below the earth in catacombs and hidden caverns breeding hatred for humanity and coming out to kill when boredom threatens to overwhelm them cannot die of natural causes can be eliminated by a skilled warrior how do you know so much already come from a long line of bloodless hunters we're a valued sect amongst the Passerian. With my companions, we tracked the family of the demons into the staglands, but they escaped us. We've come to this library for answers. While here, I've heard rumors abounding of the bloodless presence, and I'm led to believe there are families lurking below. Hmm. If you find a nest of these vipers, seek my companion in Istakale, a camp near the forest. Okay. Seek my companions in Istakale, camp near forest. My name is Venomous. They will be grateful for any information on their location. You choose to face the bloodless alone. Do not speak to them. Their words are much of a weapon as their filthy, taloned hands. Hmm. Okay. All right. What did he drop here? Did I drop this? Study of Goblins. Runic Code. Okay, we already talked to this guy. B Forte is bogged down in sap spill. What what is that about? Stormmaster, here we go. 
I'm in charge of temple goods. I can sell you some supplies if you're in need. I'd like to take a look. Store 250. Is this what I have? Herb kit. Value 300. Aptitude levels required for use. Potion of healing. We probably should get this. They're all 26. Elixir vials. Damage 0d1. A pack of volatile elixirs that combust on impact. Most elixirs are chemical reactions. The deep blue liquid resonates. A subtle heat and stinging saltwater scent. Best used from long range. That's very much like Darklands. Elixir vials plus one. Those are 121. Zero D2. Elixir pack. Damage 1D9. Wait a minute. Why? Oh, quantity 100. Uh. Weapon type elixir. AS 3.5. I'm not sure what that means. And it doesn't say how many. It says quantity. Potion of Minor Healing. One. Okay. Brewing pouch, 24. Brewing potions. Five starter, flint and short iron rod for generating sparks. Cool. So there's a lot of, a lot of detail here. Um, I buy. Yeah, that was my money here, and this is the store's money. Okay, we bought one. Let's buy some of these, too. One of my guys has an elixir throwing boost. I have to figure out who it is. Disciples, here we go. Linguistics. I think it's this guy. Yeah. So Saz is, is the one. Let's try to give that to him. Oh. They're just grouped differently. It looks like maybe it's party inventory for everyone. Sure what that means maybe he has it equipped now <laughs> I don't know that's what I get for playing blind okay let's go over here is there anything that's weird these barrels are moving I think that's a glitch graphics Break any of these others. Did you partake in the Solstice Festival? Aye, that I did. 
And all the other acolytes too, for that matter. Hey, Gronk, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, the damage is 0d2 and 0d1, so I guess it's possible it does 0 when you throw it. Or maybe, maybe it depends on how accurate your throw is. I don't know what that means. Lord Erling traditionally starts the festiv festivities by rolling out 5 and 20 barrels of sweet honey wine. First sight of the new moon. The acolytes form a ceremonial line to push the barrels through the courtyard. What are you celebrating? Solstice marks the beginning of the end of winter, where nights are long and the moon reigns. As acolytes, we celebrate so our god knows we honor him. But the villagers also celebrate another season of survival in a harsh land. And also five and twenty barrels of free wine. If you venture down to the village, you'll see some of the caravans remaining. Look after the tomes and scrolls. Why would a fort need such a library? Where do you go to find these texts? What kind of text do you purchase? Mostly studies in star lore and the movements of the heavens, but also philosophies, histories, advanced physics. Okay. This is a temple of the moon, Lord Nikolai, and thus we devote much of our study to noting the movements of the sky. Okay. To be one with the moon, Lord. Okay. I think it's time to leave. Well, we can open this thing. Hearing inside the oven, you see a tray of hard cookies. Guess we don't get to take the cookies. <laughs> Zoom out. where we came from, right? It's cool. Statue depicts you beckoning the first settlers to safety. As you approach the book embedded into the wall, you notice dried blood on its spine and a slight metallic odor hits your senses. A sense of foreboding, you move forward undaunted. Side that satisfying your curiosity isn't as important as keeping your limbs intact. Yeah, let's not do that. Sounds like a bad idea. Okay. I think we're ready to get out of here. Let's do that. Something here. Tables full of books and notes written by Erlen. Not particularly useful. Companions must all be present to travel onward, okay. Figuring out how to get around, yep.
click click on glowing objects to learn more about them some objects reveal more information when clicked on with the correct amplitude cursor okay so it's just like a caravan thing Like a fog of war where you walk, that's cool. There's a chicken. <laughs> the chicken looks at you with glassy eyes. What ho, chicken? The chicken ignores you. <laughs> Never know. Could be a magical chicken. Wouldn't be the first. Bo was bogged down in saps spill. Okay, so that's where that's happening. When we're breaking these. E Forte slips in oil spill. Oh, that's Catalina. That's that girl he was talking about. And that says you might be willing to join me on the travels. Where are you going? Your impertinence is as unbecoming as your face. <laughs> Whoa, what? Emerald Metallus, and then you can return. Somewhere that you can kill better game than crop goblins. I'll do anything to get here. My ex is strong and I won't cause you any trouble. Very well. Join us. Oh, remove a companion. I don't want to do that. Okay. So this is the one I should have speaking. Jimmy has linguistics. Let's leave her selected. <laughs> Slipped on the oil spill. They fell on the ground. Did we get hurt from this? Where's hit points? No, 24. 25, 26. Okay. <laughs> Air claw. Scotty. Emeralds, wow. Oh, that's like a wall. Okay. Campfire thing over here. Settler. So we can't talk with these. <laughs> they fall on the ground. That's hilarious. What happened to that duck? The duck appears to be digging for insects. The duck ignores you.
more emeralds. What's this guy doing? <laughs> He's just like looking at us. <laughs> yeah, what ho, duck? He's a colorful little guy. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's an ox? Despite looking in your general direction, it does not appear interested in your existence. <laughs> Lots of chickens and stuff. Probably should just follow her. Oh. Goblin unhurt. Oh, we're in a battle. Healing fungus. Okay. So let's see. 10 out of 24. Hit points left. I, I wonder if we'll heal over time. And we have two skill points. I need to determine how to use these. Bash. Quick strike. Light weapons. Critical slash. Hmm. Grunk says he's also talking to the duck. Yeah, that guy was. Very below goblin attacking five people who are three times as tall as him. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was insane. Reckless offense. No shield. Equipped weapon. Utilize your whole body when fighting. Shield mastery. Critical flight. Okay. Wow. Wow. Uh-oh. We're punching. We have no weapons. He's got a kitchen knife. Okay, we equipped a kitchen knife. Now we do 1d5 damage. Cast iron blunt knife. <laughs> Used for cutting food. Oh, it even shows it. Okay. Oh, man, he's really injured. Uh... Try this healing fungus. Seventeen. Okay, his wounds are going down. Or is that it? It just healed four? Yeah, I guess it just healed four. Crop Goblin does two damage to the... I see. Five experience. Oh yeah, that's right. I was looking to see. Uh oh. Something coming towards us. Run! Kill it! Okay. 
something came by guy. Oh yeah. He's really hurt. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be in this area. Probably should be sticking to the road. What I'm trying to do is look here. Maybe that's the level. They all have the same skills. Looks like it. This is how you apply them. Yeah, okay. Fortify mind, hold weapon, hold your ground against maelstrom of magic assaults. New weapon, focus arcane, and polymorphed. Okay. Agile fighting increases your defensive stance. Let's do that. He has two skill points, okay. Explosive traps. Learn more alchemic. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. He's he's the one with the elixir specialties. She's the linguistics. Or, yeah, I'm confused. Why won't it let? She can't apply points. Hmm. Seems like dodge is super important. Rapid draw. Any missile weapons train with your missile weapon to be able to loose arrows and bolts quicker. Yeah, let's stick with the lighter stuff for now. Okay. I still don't know why she can't apply. I'm trying to see if my wounds are getting healed. I don't see them. Fifty four gold. I think we're going to have to go get more potions. Otherwise, we'll be dead. Hopefully, we'll find more weapons like that. Like, maybe you need to grind against those goblins until you can find at least some weapons It'd be cool if there's like more information on how you can rest you look at uh, this. Hmm. I 
don't see a rest command. Party AI off. So you can manually attack things. Edible heart. Nutrient protein. This heart is <clears throat> deep reddish brown. It's thin layer. Entirely was edible, though it's recommended to at least sear it properly or prior to consumption. Small regenerative boost. It's only five. Guess we can experiment. Four. What do we have here? It's the rope, Scotty, hard cookie. Eating will restore some energy. Is energy the same as hit points? Trying to see if these are worth anything. Study of goblins. A rolled up note. Archman details a sketch of the local hunchbacked goblin. Apparently is quite a nuisance. They hunt in packs. Scavenge and loot settlers for supplies. <laughs> also goes into some theorizing about mating with chickens as breeding farms have been found. And they make similar noises to the bird. Though this was amended by a second writer labeling it crude. <laughs> Trap that can be set by those skilled with woodwise that snaps on enemies who step on it. Oh, that's cool. Right click to hand. I guess we have to view it outside this menu. We should be healing. Does it say how much? It doesn't tell us how much it heals. It wasn't much. I know that much. Okay, we're down to three. So he only has nine hit points. So let's see if we eat that heart. 11. So I, I didn't know if it would heal over time or not, or if it was just, that's all we get is two hit points out of it. Man, if that's how the healing is going to be, this is going to be brutally hard in the beginning. Holy moly. Especially since I have no armor or weapons. Maybe that's why you're supposed to hire like that one woman. Seems like she had equipment. Yeah, he's not healing anymore. Okay. 
It looks like, okay, it did stop. Enter. Let me just stay on the road, I guess. Do a quick save and click this button down here. I wonder if we're supposed to kill these animals. For food or something. We'll just walk around busting open barrels. Ooh, it's a wolf. Oh, one of my characters has died. I guess the main character died? Death marks your f flesh for the carrion god wow okay doesn't look like we're going to be iron man in this one for a while there jimmy <laughs> hmm let's see yes let me see if I can kill one of these animals and if that does anything. I hate to do that, but... No, it didn't leave anything. Hmm. Well, there's no way I could fight wolf not with the AI controlling it wrong place wrong time chicken yeah I thought maybe it would leave food and that's what they intended you to do it didn't oh we got healing fungus Are we getting money from this? Great, no, no money. Did she apply her skill points yet? Uh oh. Glad it warns us with that noise.
Oh, this is different stuff I can apply skill points to. Here's Woodwise. Nobility. Okay. I guess based on her class, she wasn't able to put her points into weapons. But she should be able to put down that trap now. Hmm. Gosh, I wonder how hard that is to navigate. for your life. Huh. Holy moly. I was trying to run the first character away. I put one, but I don't think that's how that works. I'm going to have to see if pushing numbers selects the characters. No, it doesn't. Okay. Control 1. Control 2. So Control 1 showed hit points. Oh, no. It's just because the mouse was on. Alt one? No. Not F one. And another kitchen knife. Upgrade. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can she equip this? No, I won't let her equip it. I gotta figure out how to use these. down the trap. Not sure where it went. I guess she really hit it. Just gotta find three more goblins with butter knives. <laughs> yeah. And we need some armor too. figure out if she can throw. But I healed more that time.
51 out of 300. I guess this impacts our level once we get to 300, ready for a level up. Okay, and I guess those two skill points was what we started with. Explosive trap, agile fighting. Oh. Oh. I had these skills. what that means I have to read the manual to figure out how that works it's not super intuitive It looks like maybe you could have different modes of combat and and this quick menu is for you to determine which option it's using. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, I almost died from that. We have no money. Yeah, how are you supposed to heal? Drunk says maybe one will have a pot you can use as a helmet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're not exactly seasoned adventurers, are they? <laughs> okay, I had an herbal thing. Let's see how this works. Okay, right clicking does nothing. What about this? Okay, we ate a biscotti. Did that do anything? Five. Is that all it did was one hit point? It does one hit point, the biscotti. Not enough nobility. Somebody has nobility. I think it was her. Can she use it? Choose a peon to command. Ox. Oh, this is kind of cool. I wonder if this thing will help us. Kill some goblins for us. Oh, it wore off. It wore off. Oh, it's mad at us now. Okay. Can't get any food from it. We gained one experience. Are we supposed to slaughter poor helpless animals and get experience that way? Weakest ox ever, Greg says. Yeah, what's up with that? One hit with a butter knife and an <laughs> ox goes down. Uh.
So can she use that again? Or did I just blow it? If there's a way to flip it out of real time or not, real time mode. While well, I'm learning the controls, especially. Oh, that's not the right save game. Hold on. Is the quick save. If you're poisoned, you might cure yourself with a potion or a spell. Greg says, wow, they just really go for, right for your main guy, don't they? Yeah, they do. I'm going to try something. I'm going to have her move forward by herself. So that they quit going for my main guy. Well, that worked. I guess we have to kill this one now. Before it, the charm wears off. Hey, we got another kitchen knife. Healing fungus. Okay, you have a knife. my tougher guy, Bo. Let's have you do it. Run up here. Just pull him out and then we'll try to charm one again. I don't know if that has a limited number of charges or what. charmed 10 experience I actually don't have to use the healing thing this time Okay. Oh, let's lure some more out. I guess you just have to do this for a few hours. Hopefully once we level up or get enough money or items, we won't be so fragile. Right now, we die like almost instantly. Hey, Kiffer! Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? How did your ex come? Run and run end up going. Oh, 
Por qué a mí? Wow, my main guy's almost dead again. This is brutally hard, guys. Hey, how medic? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? And Cody's here. Welcome, Cody. How you doing? It's going okay. Glad to hear it, Kipper. It's got to be late. Holy moly! Uh, this came out around 2015, 2016. Cody. Kipper says the two teleport doctrine is working out. <laughs> now that we've added the dedicated looters, nice. Oh, it's 2 a.m. there? Wow. Yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> I won't have you guys watch, but boy, that's, that's brutal. This game is super, super hard. I've already died like three times. I haven't read the manual, of course. I'm playing it blind, but uh, they go after your main character, and when they kill him, it's over. You start with no equipment. We've been picking up butter knives. And there's no way to heal except for items you can find, it looks like, from monsters and stuff. So it, it has been just brutal. You can see he's 15 out of 24 hit points. Cody says, 2015? You sure you're old enough for this? <laughs> You're going to stay about 30 minutes? Cool. 1 a.m. for you, Kiffer, huh? Now, Kiffer, you're in Ireland. Um, Tom, where are you from? Austria, Germany? No, there is a manual. Netherlands, okay, cool. There is a manual. I'm, I'm doing it blind. The manual actually looks pretty robust, like I opened it up. And looked at three pages and I'm like, no, I'm playing it blind so that I can review it later on kind of how intuitive everything is. Most things have been pretty intuitive considering the complexity, but there's a few things I, I can't understand yet. Like these quick menus, I, I don't understand how to use these. I've tried numbers and stuff and it just... It didn't seem to work, but again, I just, I'm sure the manual explains it. Okay. But it's kind of Darklands-like. The, the vibe is like Darklands. But yeah, now I, I'm trying to draw these goblins out because the only way I can seem to avoid injury is to draw them out, charm one with the shield, and then attack it while it's charmed. Bo says, I'm loving the atmospheric vibe of the game. Yes, I, I do too. I like the sounds, I like the music. It's very hard, which is cool. I like hard games. Okay, Bo, you're going to drag him out here. The goblins sound like chickens. And there was even a reference to it about breeding chickens. for your lives holy moly look at all these coming after me run foxes run I'm gonna get killed by foxes are any of these villagers gonna help me 
Maybe they'll go after the chickens. <laughs> yeah, the creepy noise. Can you stick your hand in the big hole in that tree? Oh, good question, Gronk. I don't know. What is lizard? Oh, they're they are attacking the Oh, good. Kill the fox. Are we getting experience? Fox is dead. Settler is dead. Gain 11 experience. We're gaining experience for the settlers dying? Come on, guys, attack. Edible heart. Healing fungus. Ooh, I got a kitchen knife now. We've upgraded from our butter knives. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Those almost dead. I have no money to go buy any more healing potions. Cody says, looks like fun. How'd you find it? Um, Matt Barton on YouTube, he has a channel called Matt Chat. He interviewed the developers. Uh, and it seemed like a lot of fun to me. They talked about how it was inspired by Darklands. And the beginning was actually a lot like uh, Ultima 6. so injured don't have any other way of healing power walk for dear life my <laughs> hey ninja welcome yeah that's what they're doing power walk our way away instead of running oh the humanity and Bo says age old strategy make the locals fight for you yeah and we got experience for them dying evidently I looked here. Settler is dead. Gain 11 experience. So that, that's our plan, guys, is just to draw enemies to the town, slaughter everyone in the town, and we'll get the experience. Okay. Yeah, I'm in trouble, though. I don't know how to heal. Well, no more items. So we found some more knives. No, he needs one. He can use one. And I still don't know this. Somehow I can throw these, but I haven't figured it out yet. These elixir vials. Okay. Man. I'm not sure what to do. I don't have any money. I tried to go down here, but there were wolves. There was a wolf and something else that killed me, like, almost immediately. Dead villagers. <laughs> All the best games of infighting, yeah. Super fun. Let's see if the wolf is still here. I'm scared. Let's have you walk down here. Run! Run! Use the shield! On the wolf. Okay. Kill the fox. Now kill the wolf when it's charmed. Kill it. Kill it. Edible heart. Get 
This edible heart only heals one hit point. Well, that time it healed more. Oh, it must be random, like 1D3 or something. What's our experience? 152. We're halfway to the next level. Did I ever play Stripe? No, I have not. It sounds familiar, but I know I haven't played it. I've had this game for two years, and I've waited to play it. So I was ready to work in another uh, game. Cause it's uh, it's pretty uh, intense learning a new game from scratch. That's complex. Especially when I play a blind main. Flame-haired man in the in traveler's garb waves eagerly to you near the entrance of the courtyard. The hilt of a sword is only half covered below his cloak, but his face shows no sign of malice. Curious as to his insistence on speaking with you. So, Jimmy's my best speaker. Hail, Spicer. Leaving the temple, can I ask what business brought you here? None of your concern, stranger. Just passing through. Sorry. Did you happen to see Erlen in the fort? I'm there on business myself. I need to talk with him. I did. I did not. Only saw him on my way out. Apologies. I feel like this guy's an assassin. I don't want to give him any, any information. Cody says it's an old RPG on the Doom engine. It's kind of unique, but not great. I gotcha. So it's like a first-person shooter-ish type hack and slash. Yeah, in general, I'm not into those too much. Poison, you might cure yourself with a potion. Yeah, if we had some potions, I've had nothing. Uh, Bo says, What's the story so far? Just randomly killing things? No. Wow, this is interesting. The sound. We're supposed to be going to different places, like villages and stuff. But I have no idea how to get there. Oh, maybe this is one already. Bogomil and Borifus. Let's break open their barrels. Well. Oh, I was hoping I would heal us. Cody says, not really a true first-person shooter, not really a true RPG. It's a bit of a mess, but competently made. That's cool. Oh, we found some emeralds. 22. See, breaking through barrels pays, guys. Okay, let's talk with this guy. I have no idea where we're at. Um, new village. Uh, we want probably I guess I have to pick who's gonna talk before I click on them.
value 40 leaf blade hey it does 3d2 3d2 damage but i can't afford it and some armor holy moly how do we get money light ringmail tunic plus one armor class Added leather new, armor class plus two. Without disabling any combat maneuverability. Oh, this one gives better protection, but it... It's like you lose... Physical and spell ability. And it slows you down. Combat speed. Iron Helm. Okay. So we've got some cool potential stuff to buy here. Wow, ring mail's plus four. But uh, I have no money. Straight edge. 1d9. Can I sell this? 24 for a stack of 20? I only have one? Drunk says, suddenly the shine has left your newfound kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Canvas lined armor. Okay, well, we know where we can get stuff. Now we have to find money. And we also have to figure out how to heal. I'm in charge of the temple goods. I can sell you some supplies if you're in need. Festival wiped out most of my stock, but I can show you what I have. Cloak. It's a little itchy. It's made of thick sheep wool. Cover your armor and equipment. Provides good insulation. Salted meat. Here we go. Good source of protein. Case can stay edible without rot longer than fresh meat. This will rejuvenate some health if eaten. Shovel. Automatic use of an inventory. Okay. That's cool. Oil spill trap. Trap that can be set by those skilled in woodwise. Makes the enemy slip. Yeah, see, that's the cool stuff that I'm excited about this game. All the little details and very, very Darklands vibe. Turquoise chip. Okay, well, let's buy some this. Oh, I have to drag it into an empty slot? Okay. And I like how the store has limited money, too. Oh, you need a full stack to sell. I see. Okay. I don't need two ropes, do I? Value for a stack of 20 is 32. I wonder if there's crafting, and that's how you make money, or if you can get a job like in uh, Magic Candle. Another thing I wonder is if there's like an inn or something where you can rest to heal everyone. I'll have to read the manual. I feel like I uh, have learned enough from the interface. It's pretty darn intuitive, so I'm fine with that type of line play. And then next, I'll 
read the manual. That'll probably take me a while. Figure out the details. I think it's 40 something pages, maybe. Bounties board. Before you stand a crudely structured board attached to a post full of notices and scrolls depicting profiles of criminals. Pursue bounties? Decide you'd rather stick your hand in a vat? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not qualified to pursue bounties right now. Just wondering who your prisoner was. The native that was poking around where he shouldn't have been. That's all you need to know. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Yeah, this will be a good place to save. Save game, new village. Yeah, I'm excited about this. This is a fun one. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.